All right, welcome back. Um, I just did a review on that machine, the Rug Doctor, one of my favorites. But I want to give you guys a little show up. I'm um, not many videos out there on YouTube about the Bissell Pro Light. So the story about this machine is that my parent used to live, or my step parent used to live out a little farther out from us, and we went out to a dumpster one time, and I saw this thing sitting in there, and this kind of really caught my eye, and I had to get it out. Um, I think the lady next to us might have passed away or moving out and they just thrown away a bunch of junk and I saved this one because this thing's pretty cool and I absolutely love this thing. Um, one thing's pretty cool that this one is built in 2010 so I think the final generation here are these Prolites. Um, these Prolites are really known to be pretty good but they're very awkward because of the canister in the back, uh, the brush in the front and this is uh this right here is just a uh, it's like a wand like a dice would have and one thing's pretty cool about this machine is that this one still has all the original tags and stickers on it which are all in pretty good condition um i don't have all the attachments for it unfortunately but this one does have hepa um this is an attachment up here that attaches to the bottom this is your brush switch this is your on switch it's kind of worn off unfortunately but i can't do much about that the only thing that's bad with this machine is that this is kind of broken down here when i got it um, I do have a replacement, you can see in the ground way over there, but I do have a replacement that I'm going to be replacing and I'm going to try to keep this thing preserved. Um, here's the canister, it's pretty weird looking because it has like a little spiral which I don't mind. And here's your HEPA filter cover, it's a little dirty because I've been using this quite a lot. I can just lift, I don't know, oh, it's a little switcher here. Lift it up, you got your HEPA, this is your... Uh, other filter that another uh, other backers would have a little foam filter this is your intake right here um now this is kind of cool up here is that this this is kind of neat i kind of like this but this is kind of stupid at the same time that's really small i mean much more nicer when they designed the machine that they could have it right here on the side instead of back here now one thing about the machine and that you guys gotta know about is that the core on this thing is not big it's pretty short actually, which I don't mind. And my cord on this one is pretty good condition. There's no rips or tears, which is pretty neat. Um, like I said, this is a pull out wand that extends really far, then taking all that, which is kind of cool because this is really neat to clean out other vacuums with. Um, if I can flip this thing over. And here's the undercarriage or the under part. Clear like a, like a Hoover. This is your 15 inch brush roll, which is, I've been using this a little bit, so it's a little dirty. But, I absolutely love it. I got little wheels on it too. Uh, one thing's pretty nice about this, is that this actually is a really nice long reach hose. And this is actually going to get underneath, like, furniture like that over there. Um, but overall, I want to show you guys about this one. I like the rubber wheels this one has too, but it's pretty neat. But overall, if you guys find one of these, pick it up, because these things are definitely worth the money and time to fix because these things are great might not be as good as a dyson you know dc you know 17 or the big ball or the all four but it'll do for now though uh thank you for watching and i'll catch you in another video